Hey guys, Johan here with a super short video this time. Um, I was cleaning up my computer and I found this file of a couple of soap bars. It was for a project and actually this is a mock-up so I know it doesn't look all that great but you know I didn't really have to put too much effort in it. It was just you know um, to get like an idea what it more or less would look like and um, my client she wanted me to do the design so I did that you know the logo is on there and everything uh, but the colors they changed you know it depended on the production process she would keep me informed and um, yeah, it could change. So, you know, she wasn't even sure whether she wanted like two soap bars or five or, you know, what it would look like exactly color wise. Um, so I, of course, I could create a soap bar and copy it and paste it and add different textures to each single one. And that would do the job just fine. Uh, but it would be kind of a hassle to have to hide a soap bar and uh, change the color and all that kind of stuff. You know, um, it's, it's not really neat and tidy and clean. Uh, so. I thought, why can I not just use the cloner object? And that's exactly what I did. So I created one soap bar only. I threw it in a cloner object. Um, it's, on, it's over here, like a MoGraph cloner. You guys might have seen it before. And um, what I did next, I of course I created a texture and I applied it to it. But normally what, what happens if you create like a material and you apply it to a cloner, it's all the same color, right? So that's not what we want. Um, so what I did, I made a different kind of texture and I'll show you how I did it. It's actually pretty easy, but oh so useful if you know how to. So in the color channel right here, um, I did something which is called, here you go, MoGraph Multishader. And this is the trick guys, you know, here you can see all these lovely colors that make my different soap bars. So you can see the blue right here, uh, you can see that off-white right there, and you can see the pink right there. So um, it basically has these colors applied to the different clones, right? So that means I have a bunch of different colors here. If I up the number of clones, you will see all these other colors appear as well, right? So you can change the order of the colors, right? So if I'm not happy with this, I can change the order. Uh, so I will move this up and immediately you see this is the first one and you get pink. You get this off-white kind of thing, you get the brown, you get the green, you get the blue. So you get the idea, right? You can change them around if you want. Um, and you can just uh, make them inactive as well. Um, that's fine as well. And you can remove them. Uh, you can play around with these. Uh, you know, now, now it only has like what, four colors to choose from. That's So that's what it does, right? Two yellows, one pink, one green, and two brown ones. Uh, but anyway, it's, this is really, really helpful. This is very easy. It really, you know, speeding up my workflow. Uh, the client was happy. I could show her the differences instantly. Um, I, I needed them to be like nicely presented in a row, so she actually had an idea what they look like next to each other. Um, but you know, I could just make him uh, look scattered if I wanted to by just adding uh, a random effector to the cloner. So just select the uh, cloner, uh, add random effector, and just play with the settings there and it could just all look more natural and, and still you know I would just only have one place where I actually had to change all the colors uh, and even in the soap bar you know if something changed I could just change it in one soap bar and it would just apply to everything so that's pretty awesome um, I hope this trick helps you out uh, or maybe inspires you so if you if you create some stuff guys let me know uh, show me I'm very curious to, s to see all your uh, your good work um, I hope it helped you a lot and um, I will be back for our next one. So uh, up to then, you know, stay creative and uh, see you again.